Good evening and welcome to Charterhouse Chapel on Christmas Eve. Tonight is Christmas Eve and the chapel is lighted with the Christmas tree lights, the lights on the altar, all four of the Advent wreath candles are lighted, plus the, the candle in the middle for Christmas Eve itself. So we are celebrating the chapel is dressed in white and I'm so happy you can join us for Christmas Eve candlelight communion. If you wish to join in the Sacrament of Holy Communion, please take a few minutes to gather a cracker or a piece of bread and a cup of drink or wine and have these beside you at your chair. And when you're ready, please settle in. And just as Jesus speaks to us tonight across time and space, I will speak to you and invite you to join me in lifting the bread and the cup together. To prepare ourselves for Holy Communion on Christmas Eve, we begin with confession and forgiveness. On this holy night, let's ask for God's wholeness and God's peace and keep a moment of silence. Let us pray. Forgive us, God of our hope. Help us to let go of anything that stands between ourselves and you, so that we may open our emptiness, our hearts, and our lives to the healing and loving presence of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Hear God's gracious words of forgiveness. Persistently, patiently, lovingly, God pours out grace and joy into our lives, healing our brokenness, forgiving our sin. Know this tonight, that all is forgiven you. All is graced and blessed in your life. Bring your humble hearts to God and let joy enter in. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, you made this holy night shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that here on earth we may walk in the light of Jesus' presence, and in the last day wake to the brightness of his glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Appointed for Christmas Eve is Psalm 96. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare God's glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. God is to be revered above all gods. For all the gods of the peoples are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. The world is firmly established. It shall never be moved. God will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that is in it. Let the field exult in everything in it. Then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord, for he is coming, for he is coming to judge the earth. God will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with God's truth. Let us pray. 
ever-living God, the heavens were glad and the earth rejoiced. When you sent your Son, the Word made flesh, to dwell with us. Help us to proclaim your glory to those who do not know you, until the whole earth sings a new song to you, with your Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, the second chapter. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This shall be a sign for you. You will find the child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. Here ends the Gospel reading. Please join me in prayer. Lord Jesus, you have come to us as a tiny baby. And we ask you to speak to our hearts and make our hearts very soft and new, as if we were holding you in our arms. Help us to reflect your love and care for all the little ones, the lost ones, the poor, the hungry, the stranger, and help us to follow in your steps. We pray in your holy and precious name, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, sing to the Lord all the earth, we hear in Psalm 96. Tonight we are invited to sing to the Lord a new song. But how do we sing to the Lord a new song when we have gathered to bask in the comfort of the old songs? I never really noticed before that there are a total of four new songs sung in the first two chapters of Luke alone. Mary sings a new song, the Magnificat, which testifies to God's mighty power in turning upside down the powers that be and raising up the poor and lowly. Zechariah's song, the Benedictus, foretells the coming Savior and also about Zechariah's own son, John, 
with Elizabeth, who will repair the way of the Lord. And when the angels appear to the shepherds in the field, they sing the Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deo. And we're still singing that song today. And when Simeon, a man of great old age, holds Jesus in his arms in the temple, he sings the nuke dimittis, Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. In Luke 2, 29 and following, Jesus' birth brought on a lot of singing four new songs. All of these songs in Luke may be new, but they don't come out of nowhere. The prophets, the Psalms, the scriptures of the Old Testament were well known to all who sang these four new songs. For Simeon, the child Jesus, the baby, eight days old, is the fulfillment of centuries of preparation and his own long lifetime of hope. It is an end as well as a beginning. So too for us in the same way the songs that we hear at Christmas come from out of our past and speak to us today. Even more, I feel that the familiar carols can heal our hearts. For me this season, that song, Lo How a Rose Air Blooming, expresses the beauty and also the vulnerable state in which we find ourselves in this second pandemic Christmas. We are vulnerable in the state of weakness and limitation that each of us experiences. We are able to receive God's help much more easily because we know, very simply, we know that we need God. We need God's care, God's love, God's protection, and God's peace. So, dear friends, on Christmas Eve, I encourage you to be poor and be hungry, to be little and weak, to accept all of these limitations that we have. This beautiful belovedness, like a tiny rosebud, the song goes on, this flower whose fragrance tender with sweetness fills the air, dispels with glorious splendor the darkness everywhere. True man, yet very God, from sin and death he saves us and lightens every load. O Savior, child of Mary, who felt our human woe, O Savior, King of glory, who dost our weakness know, Bring us at length, we pray, to the bright courts of heaven and into endless day. Pay heed to the songs you are listening to, especially listen for the songs in the night. God speaks to us in many and various ways. And tonight, God has spoken to us through a tiny baby. Thanks be to God. Amen. Let us pray. Loving God, you fill all things with a fullness and hope that we can never comprehend. Thank you for leading us into a time where more and more of reality is being unveiled for us all to see. We pray that you will take away our natural temptation for cynicism, denial, fear, and despair. Take away our anger and disappointment. Help us to have the courage to awaken to your light and truth, greater humility and greater care for one another. May we place our hope in what matters and what lasts, trusting in your eternal presence and love. Listen to our heart's longings this night for the healing of our suffering world, for your mercy and help, for all who grieve, all who seek your healing touch. For medical staff, nurses, and support staff everywhere seeking to serve on this blessed night. 
for our families and friends, separated us from distance, that we may know the togetherness of your fellowship and your Holy Spirit, that our bonds may be strengthened. For your creation, earth, sea, sky, and the distant cosmos, to be filled with the energy of your loving renewal. For our community gathered here tonight, that we may be blessed with your peace and strength. Knowing, good God, that you are hearing us better than we are speaking, we offer these prayers in all the holy names of God. Amen. I invite you now to share a sign of peace with each other, a word, peace to you, an elbow bump, a smile, just a look in the eye. The peace of the Lord be with you always and also with you. We now come to the Holy Communion. And when I eat the bread and drink the cup, please join me eat and drink with me at the same time to share the Lord's Supper. Please join me in prayer. God of all creation, all you have made is good and your love endures forever. You bring forth bread from the earth and fruit from the vine. Nourish us with these gifts that we might be for the world signs of your gracious presence. In Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Holy God, you alone are holy. You alone are God. The universe declares your praise beyond the stars, beneath the sea, within each cell, with every breath we take. We praise you, O God. Generations bless your faithfulness through the water by night and day across the wilderness. Out of exile into the future, we bless you, O God. We give you thanks for your dear son at the heart of human life near to those who suffer beside the sinner among the poor with us now. We thank you, O God. In the same night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Remembering his love for us on the way, at the table, and to the end, we proclaim the mystery of our faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. We pray for the gift of your spirit in our gathering within this meal, among your people throughout the world. Blessing, praise, and thanks to you, holy God, through Jesus Christ, by your spirit, in your church without end. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us, saying, Sins and sin. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Taste and see 
that the Lord is good. The body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. The body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, strengthen you and keep you in his grace unto life eternal. Amen. Let us pray. Lord of life, the gift of your body and blood turns the crumbs of our faith into a feast of salvation. Send us forth into the world with shouts of joy, bearing witness to the abundance of your love in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Now may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon with you and remain with you always. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.